All right, y'all, Rick's about the morning show. It's Talking Out Tuesday. Man, y'all help me work. I'm our therapy expert, licensed professional counselor. You're another spring. You're another good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Man, I'm so excited to have you on because, you know, we need therapy, and uh, more and more people are going to therapy, uh, and I'm, I'm glad to hear about that. So the month of March, you are focusing on mindfulness. Uh, remind us what that is. Yeah. So mindfulness, to make it simple, is just paying attention to what's happening with you in the moment. Right. right? So basically, it's, it's just a fancy way of saying mind your business. Right. <laughs> you right. know, and, and when I say mind your business, I mean paying attention to what's happening in your body, paying attention to how you're feeling, paying attention to your mindset, you know, and paying attention to the contents and the thoughts that are circulating in your mind. You know, so mindfulness or minding your business is a good way to identify what's going on with you and what you need. You know, a lot of times we don't know what we need because we haven't taken that time to check in and be mindful of what we're experiencing. Um, And we are just naturally um, oftentimes um, we just focus on what everyone else is doing. Right. Right. What what they have going on and, and wondering why we don't feel well, you know, wondering why you feel miserable. And it's, you know, a question you can ask yourself is, have I considered myself? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One, one of the issues that I have is just just a very short attention span. I notice that about myself as I get older, my attention span gets shorter and shorter. And uh, the more people mm-hmm. talk, it's like my brain go to commercial break. You can be talking to me and after 30 seconds, my brain go, liberty, 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 liberty. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. You are not alone in that. Rick, Ricky, we are not designed to take in the amount of information we process on a day-to-day basis. And I know you process a lot of information just Man. because the work that you do, right? So we are constantly being flooded with information. It's overwhelming. And mindfulness gives us an opportunity to dump out some of that stuff, right? right. It's kind of, I view it as kind of like taking out the trash. So when you take a moment and pause and you're mindful and you mind your business, you can get clear of like what's serving me, what's not serving me. You know, what am I doing right now? And if things aren't serving you, you can kind of eliminate those things if you need to. Um, But what you're experiencing is what a lot of us experience because we have so much going on and so much information coming in that it's just popping up randomly. You know, a a lot of times when it's irrelevant. (laughs) You know what I mean? Right. Mm hmm. Right. Well, I'm, yeah, so- I, I, I'm just excited about the whole the whole entire uh, month of March and uh, encouraging people to give. Let me just ask you this. And I know this little, little side note. What are some of the signs uh-huh. that people really need to go uh, go and just just talk to somebody and go and get therapy? Because generationally, we have swept stuff up under the rug and bought mental health uh, into the next generation. How what some of the uh, at least one or two of the signs that you really need to get probably should go and get therapy and go out here and get help? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Like one of the some ways to know in terms of I need to get help or I need to mind my business, I need to focus on this mindfulness is our mood. Right. If you're easily frustrated and irritated, you know, that could be an indication that you need to talk to somebody. Right. right? That things have been bubbling up and and it's, you know, it overflows. Right. You don't need to take in so much, you know, having a hard time focusing or being forgetful. Um, that can be a reason. Like, I just have too much information. I'm overwhelmed and I don't even know, like, I'm losing stuff. I'm forgetting things. And, um, you know, when we prioritize the needs of others and we feel resentful and hurt and angry and frustrated because we aren't having our needs met, then that could be an indication that you need to talk to somebody or you need to be more mindful of what's going on with you. And therapy is a great way to be mindful because it's just you and that person and they're talking through whatever it is that you're bringing in the room and they can really help you unpack things and kind of take out the trash. So right. those are some ways. And, and, and one thing I want to advise people, like if your cup is full, don't let nobody pour in. Don't let nobody pour. Just refer them to therapy because, say, hey, man, I got a lot. Just had three deaths in the family. Kids acting up. I got a lot of stuff. And I apologize. I really would like to be there for you. Uh, but, hey, let me point you in this direction over here uh, mm-hmm. uh, to some, somebody that can't help you. Because sometimes if your cup already full, somebody can pour in, you just going to overflow. And it could throw you off because now you're going to bed with your burden and the other person's burden. Or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, but we just want to make sure that everybody go out and get the help that they need. You can always get more information on your Netta's website, springforthcounseling.org. And uh, real quick, tell them how they can get your workbook that, that I absolutely love. Yeah, yeah. My workbook is out. So the digital version um, has been out. You can find that on groundbreakers forward slash payhip.com. 
Um, or you can text the word SPRING to 55444. It'll send you a link if you want to order the digital version. Um, and the actual paperback versions are coming very soon. I have a limited cop, you know, amount of those. Those are coming out real soon. But those are, have been really helpful. So I'm glad you liked it, Ricky. Absolutely. It's good if you got ADHD. It don't, it don't feel like homework. It's like a, it's simple. A, a, a damn simple coloring book for a grown person. <laughs> it will help you work through some stuff. It really works. Hey, you know, uh, one more time, let them know how you can be reached. Yeah, so you can find me on uh, springforth.org, social media, Yonetta Spring. Follow my YouTube, Yonetta Spring. And um, TikTok, I just put a TikTok up this morning, Yonetta Spring, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, y'all. Y'all give it up and show your love for Yonetta Spring. Yonetta Spring. <laughs> 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 